by KUTV exclusive, a Salt Lake City cyclist broke her leg when her e-bike slipped in a construction site along a road in the avenues. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 6. I'm Heidi Hatch. And I'm Mark Cabell. This is a map of where that crash happened in the avenues. KUTV's Amanda Gilbert is live near Virginia Street and 2nd Avenue with what the victim has to say and the city's response. Amanda? Yeah, well, drivers might be aware there's been a lot of ongoing construction in this part of the avenues. Kira Oren was cycling in this area about a week and a half ago when the accident happened. Beyond just right here where it is just the dirt trail, this part was certainly unmarked. Cell phone video from Kira Oren's friend shows where they were August 11th. It was dark, it was around 10 o'clock. They were on their bikes headed back from a concert at Red Butte. And I was getting out of the way for a car that was passing us and then hit all of the rubble. That's when Orn fell, her e-bike landing on her. I lifted myself up and saw the lower part of my leg kind of dangling. She went through several days of surgery. Right above my knee, uh, my femur broke in half and can't work for several months. I would like to see more bike lanes. I went back to the area of the accident today. You can see the holes been filled in. The Salt Lake City website confirms there's an ongoing construction project. Crews are replacing curb, gutter and sidewalks on the east side. I asked Salt Lake City whether this area was marked when Orrin fell and when these sections were filled with gravel. The spokesman says they're evaluating the specific area at that specific time. We did see signs today farther north along Virginia Street. Orrin just wants to remind people. If I'm going to get back on my e-bike after this. I'm only going on bike lanes and no longer going the shortcut route or through neighborhoods because I, yeah, I don't want to risk this happening again. And Kira's not filed an official complaint with the city as of now. There is an online fundraiser to help her. We're working on getting that on our news app. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.